Hey guys, it's Mel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Well, I've just picked my orders for the day and I've got some great ones there. So I want to make sure I show you some of those. But I also want to talk to you about a glitch that's been happening with me. And I don't know if it's been happening with anybody else or if it was just me that was the lucky one. <laughs> It's like one minute the glitch is there and then it resolves itself. And then next time I look, the glitch is back and then it resolves itself. And then the glitch is back. Now I noticed this glitch about three or four days ago. And the reason why I noticed it was I'd actually had no sales and it was nearly lunchtime. And that's actually really rare for me to not have a sale before lunchtime. So once I realized that I'd had no sales for half a day, I went, okay, I better go and check the back end, make sure nothing's going on that I haven't seen. Has somebody opened a case against me or something? Why? Why have I been punished? So all the listings that I'd done in the morning, they weren't actually showing up as freshly listed in my store. They were actually showing up that they'd been listed three days prior. And I was like, what is going on here? So all the listings that I'd done the day before, they were showing up as my most recent. And the listings that I'd just done, well, they were being buried amongst all my other active listings. If you've got regular buyers or people coming to your store to have a look and they are searching by the items that have been newly listed, and then that's not actually showing that's that becomes a little bit of an issue so what I did was I messaged eBay to let them know that this was happening the lady spent a long time with me she was absolutely lovely but she couldn't help me with the problem when I mentioned to her I said I have had no sales all morning which is very unusual for my store and I think it's because of this glitch well, literally while I was talking to her after I said that two sales straight through whether or not that's a coincidence or not, <laughs> I don't actually think so. I don't know why it seems to happen like that, but whenever I have a problem with something and I contact eBay, next minute sales start coming through. Well, she escalated the case for me. I never heard anything back from eBay. It's now been about four days. If you're noticing this problem, I would make an effort to contact the eBay chat and let them know because the more people that let them know there is a glitch in the system, then obviously the more they will work to get that fixed. I'd be keen to hear if it happened for anyone else. Okay, now I've just sold something from the hoarders haul and I want to show you found out that this was a Raku pottery handmade little penguin that was made in South Africa. I couldn't find one exactly the same as this as the penguin, but I could find some that were quite similar. And so I listed mine around that same price. So I just took an offer on this yesterday and I sold him for $64.95. Now I've also just sold this other random item from the hoarders haul. I'm a bit squished in here. It's 10. Ah, there it is. So this is a vintage Villaroy and Bosch dish, and I just sold that for $56.95. It's actually really quite pretty. So just while I'm speaking of that hoarders haul, I actually did a tally up this morning on how much money I've made so far from that haul. So if you're new to my channel and you don't know what I'm talking about, well, basically I bought this really large haul from a hoarder and it was a book haul. However, when I went to pick it up, they asked me if I wanted to take a few boxes that were full of all his bric-a-brac. And so of course I took them not knowing what was in them and they ended up being full of all these highly collectible, very expensive items. And although they've been really hard for me to research because they're totally out of my comfort zone. They've actually been selling and making me a lot of money. So I bought the haul for $200. I've been adding up and tracking how many sales I get from that particular haul. And I've just added it up. I've made $6,265.52 worth of sales from this haul. Cute penguin. So I've sold three more items of clothing from all that clothing that I photographed the other day. So I sold a pair of jeans. This is like a women's gown like a night robe and I sold a dress. Yeehaw! I keep finding country and western DVDs, country and western books <laughs> and now I've sold one of my country and western hats. Woohoo! So I found this quite funny because in my last video only a couple of days ago, I was showing you how I bought all these homebrew magazines. Well, I think I gave myself some good juju because I just sold a pack of 10 Australian Geographic magazines that I've had listed for quite a long time. So I'm thinking I sent myself some good magazine vibes. <laughs> magazines for the win. Now, don't you love it when you get a really nice message from a really nice buyer that goes with your order? So she's written... Thank you for your great selection of books. I thoroughly enjoy browsing your store. I'm particularly interested in books about Australian wildlife and collections. Keep smiling and selling. Regards, Jen. How nice is that? So this book is on the same subject 
that that lady just ordered. So yesterday I went to photograph this book to list it for sale and it's really hard to see here but there's like a little bit of water damage here like you can feel it it's really quite bubbled. So because that buyer just sent me such a lovely message that it really made my day I'm actually going to include this book in her order because this is going to fit into the same size mailer that I would have had to send her other books in anyway. I'm just going to put a nice little note in with this customer's order saying it does have a little bit of water damage but I thought she might enjoy it. Anyway I just thought that might be some nice karma. She sent me a nice message. I'm going to return the love. Picked this book up for a dollar only a few days ago. Listed. It's pretty much sold within 24 hours of being listed. Now I've never seen this book before but it is called I Know How to Cook. This is a really large heavy beautiful looking cookbook. So I saw it in the shop for a dollar. I did run the sales on it while I was in store because I've never seen this book. However I knew when I picked this book up that this book would be worth money. When you start selling primarily in one niche, you start to develop a really good eye for items in that niche that are gonna sell well and be worth money. But I paid $1 and I sold it for $59.95. ka -ching! This was another really quick sale. I listed this yesterday and I sold it the same day for $31.99. So this is a really old vintage book, not in very good condition. But I just had a feeling when I got this book that it was going to sell fast. So I reckon it's been listed a week at the tops. I sold it for $21.99. Now this is another book that was literally only listed for a day or two before it sold. And I've sold this one for $39.99. This is a book about mental health for Aboriginals. Books that are about Aborigines or Aboriginal history, they sell very well for me. Stephen King's Desperation. This is a first edition hardback. It's in very good condition. Now this has been in my death pile for I can't even tell you how long and I decided to list it the other day <laughs> and I reckon it's sold within a day or two as well. <laughs> but I took an offer for $55 and I'm more than happy with that. Okay, what's going out the door here? Three crime and thriller books by Chris Carter. These have been listed for ages, but two books by Marcus Zuak. Got an illustrated book here on erotic photography. Got two more Stephen King books going out. These ones really weren't in very good condition, so I sold those for quite cheap. Now, this is a multi-order, so the lady has ordered... A bundle there of Jody Pickout and another bundle of Jody Pickout. So I've got two books here by Fiona McIntosh. She's a pretty good seller actually for women's fiction. I like bundling her together. A little bundle here of children's books, Captain Underpants. This lady's also ordered two bundles, which is great. It means I only have to pay for one shipping. They're all by the same author. A bundle of two of Rachel Johns and a bundle of three of Rachel Johns. I've got a bundle of Nora Roberts going out, a bundle of Michael Connolly, and and this bundle by Leanne Mariatry, a Robin Hobb trilogy going out, a Dragon Balls anime book, this bundle by Martha Long. This is a bundle of six books and this is all part of her story. It's an autobiography. Sounds like it's her childhood that she's written about. It's quite an interesting looking set. I've never sold it before but it has sold within about two weeks. A book about cooking classic cupcakes. This is a teacher's memoir. Spike Milligan's Meaning of Life. I've got a three-pack bundle going out of James Patterson. What the fat? Talking about a low-fat, healthy-fat diet. Two books by Sydney Sheldon. Two vintage books, Dr. Seuss, Little Black Pony, The Fiery Cross. I think this is part of the Outlander series, actually, which is a great series. A family and friends organizer, a cookbook, a table for friends, and a bundle of two baking cookbooks going out. Does this ever happen to you? You're in the middle of like packing all your orders. You get to the end and there's like one item that's left on the table and you've got no printed label and it's like, ah, have I mucked something up? So I just packed all those orders. There's literally like six Ikea bags behind me and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I've made a mistake. I just went back through the system. Nope, turns out this one isn't even paid for yet. <laughs> So there's no label. My heart just sank for a second then thinking I'd put the wrong label or something on one of these books. I just had two more orders that came through right as I was finished packing and I'm like oh do I just get them in today's post or do I hold off now to tomorrow's post. I've got 10 minutes up my sleeve so I decided to quickly pick these two orders, print the labels and I'll get them in today's post. What just sold was three little Mills and Boone vampire books and another bundle of Nora Roberts. I'm starting to see the sweat. <laughs> It's becoming a traditional part of my videos. <laughs> Sweating with Mel in the shed. I need to go and get all the golf balls and empty all the bleach from the bucket. <laughs> 
and see if my little science experiment has worked from my last video. If you missed it, go back to the last video and you can see it. I need to get some gloves. Oh, definitely time for a bin change today, isn't it? Rubber gloves. Wow, look at that shiny ball. <laughs> I kept a dirty ball out. Let me go get the dirty ball. Here is the clean shiny ball. Here is the dirty ball. That's amazing. Now we all know how to clean balls. Wow, I have just given you the reseller hack of the year. <laughs> Who wants to go and sell golf balls now? <laughs> I have just literally taken those balls from being in an acceptable condition to probably being in a very good condition just by putting them in a thing of bleach. <laughs> Thank you to whoever that subscriber was. I'm sorry I can't remember your name. Who suggested that I clean them by dropping them in a bucket of bleach. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. I'm blown away. I actually wasn't expecting them to come up that clean. They literally look brand new. I'm a bit rusty. Oh, golf balls are really not my thing, but I'll let you know when I sell them all. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you back here in another couple of days for a day in the life with Mel. Never know what you're going to get, do you?